Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. This video was highly requested over on my Instagram. A lot of people wanted to see how I installed my braids. So here we are. This is the brand here that I used. I believe it's the Model Model Glance Formation brand, but I used this number four. And as you guys saw, I used 30 inches, but I ended up making my braids super duper long. They're like calf length, honestly. <laughs> so we'll get to that later on in the video though. But anyway, I go ahead and grease my scalp because this is a protective style and I didn't want my scalp to be dry and itchy or anything like that. So I made sure to grease my entire head as I parted and went along. And then after greasing my scalp, I went around the perimeter of the section with some gel. And the gel I used was Joy Gel because I started using the um, Shining Jam in the orange container, I believe. But then I ran out, so I ended up using Joy Gel. And it worked just as fine or just as well. So now I'm just parting my hair. And as you can see, I know you can see it, sis. The parts are not straight like that part is not straight and honestly i wasn't concerned about the parts not being straight also you may be wondering why is it like a rectangle that's because when i got to the top i started to cornrow just a little bit because um i couldn't get the hair to really stay on the what i'm trying to say i couldn't get the hair to stay at the beginning of the section if that makes any sense but i'm gonna try and show y'all what i mean so like right here I went to braid this section and you're gonna see like space where you still see my hair and the braid isn't really starting at the top of that section I'm not sure you know why that kept happening but it did I'm not a professional but I just went on ahead and went with it it was okay doable for me I just didn't worry about it too much I don't know what method you call that, you know, me starting the braid or anything. This is really something I learned years ago from my cousins, actually. And I just keep doing the same technique, same method whenever I braid my hair. These are not knotless braids. As you can see, I they do have a knot, okay? I did do the method, the knot in method. <laughs> so these are not knotless braids. However, I really think they came out cute and yeah, I'm just braiding all the way to the end and I just moved along each, each section just like that. Now I mentioned before that I cornrowed like the top sections and when I say cornrow, I only did, I split that section into two sections. So I pick up one piece of hair, braid down a little bit and then I pick up the second half of that section and put it into the braid because like I said I couldn't get the hair to start you know right at the beginning of the section so this was a little easier for me to do Oh yeah, also I did use another color. I know y'all can see a little bit of blonde in my hair. Um, the other color I used was a mix of four and 27, I believe. So I used that color and then I got packs of just the color four because color four is the closest to my natural hair color in my opinion. So I just used that, but I wanted, you know, a little pop of color, a little mix in there, here and there. So I went on ahead and got the four and 27 mix. And the inspiration for these braids came from Face Over Matter here on YouTube and also Instagram. Her name is Jalen. I seen that she got some braids like these not too long ago and I thought they were so cute and I just wanted to, you know, use that as inspiration for my braids. I especially like the size of hers because I've been seeing a lot of jumbo braids for a while now. So it was very refreshing to see that she had smaller braids and they were super cute. So I wanted to do small braids on my own head to get that full effect mm -hmm. 
And y'all, these braids took me about 16 hours to do. I calculated all the time and the total came out to 16 hours, but I did these braids over the span of about two and a half days or one and a half days, something like that. And the total amount of time was 16 hours. Long time, but they came out super duper cute. And like I was mentioning earlier, my braids came out really long, which at first, like it wasn't on purpose for them to be as long as they are but i added hair as you just seen i added hair to the first few braids so that the braid could be the same width from the root to the tip or from the root to the end of the braid i didn't want it to thin out or anything like that so i was adding hair and then i was like i was noticing that hey these braids are getting really really long so by the time i realized they were like knee length i was not about to take out the what 10 braids i had done I was just like, you know what, we're just going to leave it in and we're just going to add hair to all of them and they're just going to be super duper long braids. So that is how they ended up to be about knee slash calf length braids. My parts are also not the same y'all. I started off with square parts, but then I have some triangle parts in there. I got some diamond parts. I have rectangles y'all. I have a mixture of all types of parts going on in my head, which you can probably see right now. I have a few triangle parts up at the front and then some square. To be honest, I really wasn't concerned about the parts. I just was trying to make it as neat as I could. I figured if the braids were neat, the parts really didn't matter and so that was my motto through this whole process And that was the last braid, which y'all don't even understand how happy your girl was to be done. <laughs> but I just straightened it out because it had a little bit of nicks and crinkles in it. But this is the final look, y'all. I wanted that defined middle part because I always thought that was cute. Here you can see a little bit into my parting zone, my little... <laughs> mixture of parting i have going on but overall i think these braids turned out really really cute they felt really good my scalp was nice and moisturized the braids were like the same width all the way around which i was super proud of myself for and um yeah i just really love them they look really really cute so as i was braiding that last section i had a pot of water on the stove boiling because next step is to dip the ends and i had a bit of fun dipping my ends which we're about to get to right now so i uh, here is my hot pot of water hot pot here is my pot of hot boiling water because we're going to dip these ends now the look i initially was going for was straight ends because that's always been the look that i gravitated towards and so i was like you know what i want straight ends i'm gonna do the straight ends right wrong okay i was wrong because after dipping about two sections it just wasn't doing it for me it just wasn't doing it oh also i want to mention make sure you have a towel but make sure you double that towel to dry your hair you see my face i was burning my hand okay because the hot water was just that hot so make sure you double that towel to dry your hair when you're taking it out of that hot water but back to these straight ends it just wasn't it just wasn't doing it for me y'all so i ended up doing crinkle ends which i wasn't trying to imitate Jalen's look because she had crinkle ends as well but i just wasn't feeling the straight ends and i was like you know what let me try crinkle ends i've never actually had them before but as you'll see your girl ended up loving them they turned out way better than the straight ends so i went for that instead which you're gonna see in a little bit i just switched to the crinkle ends i braided each section then dipped it in the hot water while it was braided and then i let it cool before taking the braid out so that the um it could kind of lock in that pattern that uh that crinkle definition mm -hmm. 
y'all can't tell me that these crinkle ends don't just look like so cute like these crinkle ends are so cute i've never had crinkle ends before but i just love them like they were really cute to me so i had to stick with them because the straight ends just won't it look at them y'all they're just so cute ah i love these crinkle ends <laughs> But anyway, I just went on ahead and dipped each, each section. This one in the front, I had just finished dipping, so I didn't take it out because it wasn't cool yet. But now I'm just going and spraying some gloss spray on my hair just to give it a little bit of sheen, a little bit of shine so that they don't look dull or anything. And I also take that spray and just spray my scalp just a little bit to give my scalp a little shine it's a little something something but yeah that is how i did my braids y'all and i'm about to show you guys the final look everything all together me all done up and dressed and how i've been rocking my braids <laughs> 